Mobile connectivity is constantly improving, and that's something we're all very grateful for. Throughout the years, we've witnessed higher speeds and lower latencies, just to name a few. And of course, these improvements aren't going to stop anytime soon. In this video, we're going to discuss the future of mobile connectivity with a focus on 5G and 6G. We're going to review what we know about 5G before moving on to exploring 6G, as well as discussing challenges in its development, as well as a potential release date. Mobile operators began launching 5G worldwide in 2019 as the successor of 4G, which is still in use today. 5G was a big jump forward in many aspects, notably speed. When people think of internet generally, their focus is usually on speed. 5G gives them a good reason to keep thinking that way, given that it can theoretically reach download speeds up to 20 gigabits per second and upload speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. Compared to 4G, these are much higher speeds. 4G download speeds are usually around 100 megabits per second and may usually peak at around 300 megabits per second, whereas upload speeds are around 50 megabits per second. Both of these are much lower than what 5G offers. But of course, even though we like to talk about speed, it's not all about speed. There are other improvements that 5G made over 4G. First, 5G brings about lower latency. Now, latency is essentially the delay that occurs between when a user takes an action on a network or web application and when it reaches its destination. Latency is measured in milliseconds. 4G latency typically ranges from 60 to 98 milliseconds, whereas 5G latency is significantly lower, around 2 to 5 milliseconds or potentially less. The lower the latency, the better the user experience, whether it's video conferencing or gaming or some other activity. Second, 5G features greater capacity than 4G. Capacity is basically the space that a network offers to users. The more usage there is, the less space becomes available. If whatever maximum limit is reached, for someone to get better speed, someone else's would have to decrease. This limitation is less likely to materialize with 5G compared to 4G because it offers greater capacity. As good as 5G is, 6G is expected to bring even greater improvements. Starting with speeds, 6G is rumored to be able to reach speeds up to 1 terabits per second. This is absolutely insane, and if it ends up being true, it would definitely be a huge step forward from 5G. But just like the improvements 5G made over 4G, the likely improvements that 6G will make over 5G are not limited to speed. In fact, it is expected that 6G latency will be measured in microseconds, because that's how low it is expected to be. We already have such low latency with 5G that it is basically not noticeable. So while the shift to microsecond latency is obviously something huge, it's insignificant to the human eye. But one thing is certain, reliability and overall functionality from real-time applications will become seamless. Of course, as exciting as all of this sounds, it's not going to be easy to develop and eventually deploy 6G. What I mean by this is that there will be challenges with bringing 6G to life. I'd like to talk about a couple of them. First of all, 6G is said to be expensive to develop and deploy based on two factors, which are infrastructure and power consumption. The former consists of a combination of elements, including a dense network of base stations and small cells, fiber optic backbones, and terahertz frequencies. The latter is potentially caused by 6G networks being denser and faster than 5G, which could result in higher power consumption. Second, a challenge I think is more significant than the first is the possibility of 6G being vulnerable to security breaches. This is based on the notion that unauthorized users will basically have a larger attack surface, or in other words, more points of entry to potentially breach than before, given that 6G will likely bring about the potential to exponentially increase the volume of data transmitted over networks. Data processing, threat detection, traffic analysis, and data encryption are thought to be the most critical issues in 6G networks, and so this could put data privacy and integrity at risk, a repercussion of which would be something like identity theft and fraud. So as we have seen so far, 6G technology has the potential to bring transformative advancements over 5G, offering higher speeds, ultra low latency, enhanced connectivity, and the ability to support an exponentially larger number of devices. It aims to revolutionize industries such as healthcare, autonomous driving, and smart cities. However, the transition from 5G to 6G is not immediate. The development of 6G is still in its early stages, with research and standardization processes underway. While I'm sure a lot of us may be excited about the potential of 6G, it seems like its commercial deployment will take time. The general consensus appears to be that early commercial deployment is expected around 2028 or 2029, with broader global adoption anticipated around 2030 or later. 
The technology's complexity, infrastructure requirements and regulatory considerations contribute to this timeline. But while the wait will be long, perhaps this is the silver lining to mitigating the potential issues that we discussed in this video as much as possible. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share and subscribe. And feel free to let me know in the comments if there is anything tech that you're interested in and want me to make a video about. In the next video, we're going to shift our focus to Apple. More specifically, we're going to go through what we might know about Apple's next generation of iPhones. I think it's going to be very interesting, so make sure to tune in for that. Also, please consider supporting me by donating to my channel through buymeacoffee.com. I would really appreciate any support as I continue to bring fun and interesting content like this. Only if you can, of course. Link is down below. This was The Wizard of Tech, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.